friends. Um, hi, <laughs> welcome to my page. Tammy loves the vintage. My name is Tammy Neff and I am still working on these Santas. Uh, I have let them dry most of the afternoon here so everything is really good and I'm ready to do the next step with them. So hello, welcome back. Um, I haven't done a thing since you were with me except I did paint the backs. Um, looks like looks like I got a little bit of red on there. It was quite a pain having so many colors all wet at the same time. Um, and I don't have any paint brushes here besides my big ones, so we're just gonna go with it. But hi, you guys. Hi, welcome back. So I have my Santa, but I forgot to do their little cheeks, his little rosy cheeks. So um, I went for a pink color. I don't know, maybe I should have went red. It'd be really rosy, but we're just gonna go with we're just gonna go with some pink here. I think that'll be fine. So I'm making him some little cheek, little cheeks. Um, and I've got five of them to do. So let's get the little cheekies, get his little happy jolliness going here. Okay. So again, just adding little circles there in his cheeks. Not gonna be too um, whimsical or too crazy, just some little just a little dab will do ya. I got a wet rag here to um, wipe it back just a bit. And I have one more to do. So let's get him a little happy cheeks. Okay, all right. So now what I want to do, they are very, uh, here's a green one, here's a red one. Hi, Becky. They're very bright <laughs> and white. So what I wanna do is, I want to um, glaze them. So I have our Country Chic paint glaze called Smoky Quartz is the one I grabbed. Um, and graphite's like a little black, a little bit more black. So, okay, so here we have our happy little fella. And oh, this is gonna make you all go, oh no. So what I did, I'm dipping into the, the paint. So you guys, well, you can't see. I want to have my phone like this. It's so small. Um, but I'm, I dipped into the glaze and then I, I patted it off, um, like here on my tray. Just, let's just use this. Let's just use this tray for example. So, so it's all dry. This, it's still wet in the red. The red's dry. Okay. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm going in here where I have a dry spot, and then we're just gonna just grunge him up a little bit. And I'm not gonna ruin him. Don't worry. Um, I just want to grab some of the, some of the, um, you know, peaks, uh, peaks that he's got going on. And then I'm going to drag a little bit here on the back as well. And then what I thought I would do is just spray a little bit of water just to, um, kind of break it down a little bit. And then I'm going to smear it with, oh, or wipe it with a wet rag. Okay. So I just want to age it and make it a little more vintage looking. So if you like your Santas all clean and crisp, then leave them alone. But if you want them just a little bit aged, now this is barely, okay? You can always add more, but see the difference? There's a subtle, subtle difference. And that's just enough to push it back. I think I'm gonna try a little bit more down here on his beard, um, just in the white part now. Um, just so that it's a little more, a little more obvious. Um, you don't have to wipe it back. You can leave it exactly how you um, put it on. But yeah, so I'm gonna leave the back wiped just like it is, and there we go. Okay, so that gave it a little more vintage look. If you can tell from this really white one, it just gave it a little bit of um, something, a little bit of something. Uh, okay, so let's do the rest of these, and then I'm going to do the seam binding um, bows on the top. And I've got, um, yes, they do have their own personality. A few videos back, maybe three, maybe three videos back, I show how to make these. The last video I did is how to um, paint them, and then now I'm doing all of the finishing touches. You just couldn't let do it all at once. It was just too too wet. Um, when you make them, they're too wet. You have to let them dry. When you paint them, they're too wet to do this. You have to let them dry. So it's it's all easy process, um, super easy process, very fun. 
but they just need um, a little bit of time to, to dry out. So we'll let this one dry. Um, oh, it's got a little bit extra dark on there, but I think I'm gonna, I think I like it. All right, so then without dipping in again, I'm just going to brush what I had. This one here, I added that white paint. I didn't put a ball on his hat because I ran out, but I think that's why. I don't know, maybe I was trying to make it different. I'm not sure. Um, I think I ran out. You guys will have to watch the video and let me know what happened. <laughs> and if you're in my text um, chain or whatever, you would have gotten the message that I was going live. If not, I would love for you to text me at 740, let me see if I write down, 273-6693. Make sure I have the right, make sure I have the right numbers, but yep. 273-6693 at 740 is the area code. And I'm um, getting lots of you guys signing up and that's wonderful. Okay, there's another grunged one. So I still have a couple left that are undone so you can see the difference. See the difference? It just gives it a little bit of character. You guys could take these a lot farther. Okay, a lot farther. Let me show you this one here starting to dry. It's showing up even more. So there's one that's not done. Can you see? I can't show you, but there. yeah, you can see. This one's starting to dry. Um, so it gets maybe just a touch darker. And then let's do this one here. We'll do both sides. I'm gonna spritz it. I probably could skip this step, but I'm gonna do it. I feel like it just might spread it out a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. All right, there's that one. And then we have one more to go. I went downstairs again looking for my ones from last year. I am not finding them. I know they're in there, it's so annoying. I know they're in there. <laughs> But I don't know which tub they're in, so I've got I've got every tub half tore up. So okay, I promise when I find them. And oh, I forgot to get the snowman. I promise I'll show you guys. I promise. So there you go. Um, hi Debbie or Dee Dee. I don't know. Who it's Dee Dee Pillar, right? Yeah. All good. I'm glad you like them. I'm sorry. They're right here. I need to just put them on and leave them on. Let's see, anybody else saying anything? Anybody got any questions? Oh, Penny, you got your text. Good. Thank you for signing up for that. You ordered your clay. Yay, Linda. Oh, my gosh. You're going to have so much fun. You're doing your master bedroom and all vintage Santas. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be super fun. Oh, Vicki, you got your package. Good. Hope everything was okay. Um, they all have their own personality. Yes, they do. You like them aged. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Thanks, you guys. Hi, Jenny. Um, I can't scroll as easy with these gloves on. Um, yay, happy to be back. Um, thanks, Cindy. Hi, Mom. Uh, my mom is Nancy. Uh, Janet's back. Hi, Anita from Tennessee. Okay, that's everybody. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm loving these. Now, remember I had, oh, oh, yeah, I did. I thought I forgot to get my cutters. I had the little issue with them pulling out uh, and I'm not sure why, I've never had that happen before. So the only thing I can think is it might have to do with the rubbery, um, the rubbery uh, paper clips. I use these uh, paper clips and I'm wondering, maybe when I put them in the oven, if they shrank a little bit. Oh, Connie, it's nice of you to say hi to my mom. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what the problem is, to be honest with you. I've never had that happen uh, that I can think of anyway. I mean, maybe once, but not, not every one of them. So I'm going to tuck these back in here with uh, some hot glue. Hopefully, I don't need these anymore. Hopefully that will solve the problem. Let's do, let's see, this one has a little bit of green on it, so I was trying to paint them. Yep, and I have a green one that's missing, so I, I'm gonna real quick fix these, hopefully fix these, because, and they're not heavy, so it's not that. It just, I think, I think that the rubber might have shrunk. Um, I probably shouldn't have used the rubber-coated ones, but I thought I was being smart. <laughs> 
And this, oh, no, I was going to say that one's in there, but nope, I was able to pop it right out once I broke it loose from the paint. So, okay, let's glue this one down. Now, something that I've never done before is to seal these. Um, I have never sealed these before. So, um, I thought that might be something fun to try, but I also think it might take away some of the vintage look. So I'm not sure about that, but if you, you know, if you want to make some and your look might not be as vintage or you just want to try, I may try sealing one. I don't, I don't know. I don't know that you could really tell a big difference. Any sealer would work if you're going to do a spray sealer or a, a clear coat of any kind, any polyurethane. Um, or, uh, um, I mean, there's so many, it, any kind. Let's see, now that, oh, that one was in there, but I pulled it out anyway. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not sure. I'm indifferent with the shiny part. I've always been a little more, um, dull, but boy, anymore, I'm kind of liking the shine on things. So I'm changing, you know, how we all change. My, my taste is changing a little bit, so I don't know. I'm going to wait until I get out the other ones and see what all I did with them, and then we'll go from there. So, okay, next step, let me put the lid on my, my glaze. I'm sure it wouldn't um, dry out, but let's just do that. And I'm done with these cutters, and I have scissors. Yay, I was smart and remembered to get scissors. So um, let's get done with the glue gun. Let's get that out of the way. All right, so let's, um, um, you made these last year, Maria? That's awesome. Can you use wax? Yes, Dee Dee, you could certainly use wax. You sure could. Um, okay, so I have my seam binding. Seam binding comes um, on these rolls. You can get, but it's just called seam binding, and you can get them in different colors. Um, I have sold so much seam binding to all of you over the years. And um, I love that I can I can crinkle it. So it comes off of the roll flat like this, and it's just the sweetest little soft um, flowy ribbon. And it's, and it's vintage, and I just love it. And they still are manufacturing it. Um, so I guess, I guess it's a vintage, um, idea, <laughs> maybe. Um, anyway, so I, uh, let's see here. So I like to get it and spray stain it a little bit and, um, get it wet and wad it up in rubber bands. I do each color individually. So, cause I have had it, the red will bleed a lot. I have had it bleed before. I mean, we used to sell little bundles of it. We, <laughs> Here's another little bundle and it's been stained. Um, so the staining kind of gives it little spots. Um, let's see, mostly just crinkled. But so I have a little bit of red and green, not a whole lot left I see. So, oh, there's a fern leaf. And I don't think this green is right, no. I can't deal with that. And so I'm looking for any red. I love it when it's all wrinkled and, and boinky like that but it's not so let's just do some straight i'm just going to do some straight up i'll have to make some more while i'm here um any questions on the seam binding making sure yes you could do a matte finish for sure you're right but i don't know why they would ever need sealed really i mean you're not you're not going to be doing anything to them other than maybe just so that it doesn't chip off of the paper maybe i don't know that might be the only reason so, okay, let, let's see, how am I gonna do this? So you guys, I'm just kind of, um, yeah, I really like it boinky better. Let me show you. Hmm. Okay. So let's shove it through the paper clip. And you could make this be your hanger, really, um, instead of like a, a metal tree hook. You could just make a loop with your seam binding and then leave a few curls down low. You could totally do that. But I like to do just a little um, bow. You could totally also do a, um, 
like a little greenery, maybe some holly leaves or whatever you could do. You could totally dress these up however you wanted to. Um, you could put some old buttons on their hat. Um, but there. So that just gives it a little bit of fun. And I like how it's, um, how it's just a little bit wrinkly and crinkly and, and all that. So there you go. And then you would put your hook on it or you could hang your little, um, you could hang a little loop of your ribbon. So I'm going to do one now that's not, I call it boinky, but you know, where you, you get it wet. You don't have to stain it. If you, Okay, I'm going to tell you the two ways to do it. You can, and I don't see any, I don't really see any stained like the way I like to do it. It's all um, in my ribbon drawer that's stained, but um, this one was stained somehow, but it was probably stained because it was wadded with some blues, but um, the lighter colors, really, this is just, this is the same as this. I just take, I just take a whole bunch like this. I just take a whole bunch off the roll, like a whole, whole bunch. And then I get it wet and I wad it up like this. Okay. And then I wrap rubber bands around it and keep it really tight. So I do, I usually do a decent sized ball of it. And then, um, when it's done, when they get in the morning, then I'll get up and I'll untake off the, the rubber bands and then I'll boink it again. I'll do it. Like I'll wrinkle it up again and I'll hold it. Let me see. I might be able to force it a little bit here. Um, it's such great ribbon. Um, okay. Just getting it wet. That's just water, a little spray water in there. But see, it, it wrinkles so easily. But when you really wad it tight, it does great. So, um, and that's how you get that look um, of the crinkles. So yay. So there's that one. Let's do this other green one. And then I got to decide. I need some green, but I, I think I'm going to have to do the same thing with the Christmas um green he's so he's a lot bigger i'm gonna do a double i'm gonna do a double layer with him okay here we go let me cut the other end of this off let me see if i can where'd my pin go Ugh, see if i can shove that in there or not i don't know i'm gonna try okay there we go now i've got that a little bit big hmm all right, let's see what we can do here. My ice maker's working on my refrigerator. That's the weirdest refrigerator. That ice maker hasn't worked forever. I bet my husband flipped it. It'll work for a little bit and then it conks out. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, I love it long, but it's too long. So I hate to do a whole bunch of these. I'm gonna have to Cut them okay here's i'll just cut it i'll just cut it or i leave it and boink it out and hook it like with a paper clip or something to get it um <laughs> is that weird that santa has a bow in his hair <laughs> i have to think about this for a minute maybe this is weird <laughs> oh come on i'm trying to tighten you down it's not letting me try to tighten it and keep it small at the same time <laughs> okay there oh I got that side good but now this side's too long and I pulled it too tight so we're just gonna have to deal with it okay so I mean you've got like greenery you see I mean I could this is this just happened to be stuck in there so I could do this hi Nancy doing good so um I hope you're doing good too so I I guess I'll just cut the tails off for now Let's see what happens here. Okay. All right. So there we have another one. So see the difference though when you get it wet and it's and it's all crinkly. I just like that better. It just has a more vintage feel and not so little girl going to church look. <laughs> right? That's the only thing I can think of to call it. So I, I don't want the white. So we're gonna, oh, here I've got some green crinkled. Oh yeah, I do. Um, it's not really the right green, but it's not horrible. Let's go with it. All right, so I'm gonna cut it. 
and I'm gonna shove it through. This is the fat side of that. And then I think once I get these all done, I think I'm gonna call them done until next week on Tuesday when I get everything out for my tree, unless I drag things out to show you guys sooner. Um, once I go, once I go through it, I'll find it. So you guys were asking to see all my um, Christmas stuff because a lot of it is handmade. And I told you once I start decorating, it's gonna go out and I don't know if I'll remember to pull all of it to show you. So um, maybe I'll go through those boxes. It depends on what we get into this weekend. I have no idea. I have a bridal shower to go to tomorrow. So there, yeah, that's good. He needs like a little berry, but I may end up using um, like red for a hanger. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna leave them like this until I decide what I'm gonna do. Um, okay, here's another one. It's not very long. Do I have any more green? Let's see. Oh, here's a whole bunch. Yay. Okay, we're all set. We're all set. I only have two more to do. So there we go. Do we have any questions? No, Cindy. I didn't get my frame cutting done. I went out after I got off of here. I cleaned up and I went out and he said he has to mow. So... Oh, thanks, Nancy. So, he mowed, hopefully the last mow, but he says he thinks he's gonna have one more mow. So, he promised me we'll do it tomorrow. He promised, so we'll see. Because I said, can I just go ahead and drag it out and do it? And he said, I'd rather, I'd rather do it with you, so I have to wait. Wait, wait, wait. I keep waiting <laughs> patiently. <laughs> one of you girls told me about a mini table saw at Harbor Freight. I thought it was the best idea. So I went, I was checking them out. They didn't have very good reviews. And I'm thinking, well, I really already have one. It's just a pain to get to. I think it's a great idea though. So I, I don't know, I'm indifferent. Anybody got a mini table saw? <laughs> so there, oh, isn't he is so cute. Oh my gosh, aren't they cute? They're so cute, I think they're so cute. Here's another one, yay. I'll, um, well, I don't have any Christmas greens out. I was gonna say I'll style them and take a picture and post it. I will do that, but I'm not, what do I do with all that? Oh, here it is. Um, I'm not gonna do it right away. You'll see it by next, at least at the latest, it'll be next week. Uh, I say Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. We have a painting job next week, so it depends if it takes one day or two. Um, and then I promise I'll style these and show you uh, in a pretty, where they look pretty, rather than just laid out on my counter. Um, yeah, but you could, like I said, you guys can put one of those round magnets on the back and it would, um, that you could put it on your refrigerator. I'd just pull that hook out. I wouldn't even put the hook in it if you're gonna do a magnet. Um, if you're gonna do it, tie it on a package for gifts, you could, um, you have a mini table saw and you love it. Barbara, what brand do you have? Did you get yours at Harbor Freight? Let me know. I'm so curious. Um, yes, they were talking about it. Does, it does up to an inch and a half wood, um, which I mean, that's all us girls are probably going to have. So thanks, Maria. Yeah. <laughs> we can come at your kitchen cabinet. Sure. <laughs> oh. Okay, all right guys, so let me lay these out. And try to break them up a little bit. Now I have a, oh, let me move my mat. And I'll tip you down so you guys can see. And then if you wanna uh, even screenshot, you could do that. So get ready, swipe the words over, okay? Swipe the words over, Harbor Freight, okay. All right, here you go. Let's see if I can get them all in the shot there. Mm. Okay, there you go. Anybody wanna screenshot them? There's a good time to do it. Okay, got it? Get it, got it, good. <laughs> all right, so there you go. Um, you need to pick a date for the evening. Pick a date. Oh, one of the Santas for a date. <laughs> 
saying. Which one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I kind of like this quirky bent one myself. I think I'd go out with him. He's pretty funny. <laughs> I think I'd pick him. So, all right, you guys. Um, that's all I have. I do have... Uh, Randy went up to the neighbor's house. So I have one more little project that I want to do. You know how I find all of these really pretty old books and sometimes they're not in perfect condition and I try to save them? Well, I have one that I have loved turned around like the wrong way. He's not really supposed to be like the binding is black tape. It's awful. And I have a little fix for it. And it's a little different than the other fixes. I'm always doing different ways of fixing, fixing them, but I have one. So maybe I'm, I think I'm going to clean this up. And if you all um, want to, you can join me back here in just a few minutes. Those of you that um, get texts from me, I will text you uh, 740 273-6693 is my number. I would love it if you guys would text me. Um, I would love, 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 love it. Actually, love it. <laughs> so 740-273-6693. Um, and then we can, um, I can let you know when I'm going live and it would be uh, it would be awesome. So I'm gonna go. I will. I hope you guys loved seeing the Santas. There's one last little glimpse of them. I think they are all finished until I get my hooks out and all of my little Christmas treasures. And I'll see if I'm gonna do anything like adding, you know, a little a little greenery or whatever to them. We'll see if I do anything. But right now I'm gonna call them done enough. And I hope you guys uh, have a great night if I don't see you back here. I think it's a busy night for, um, for online crafters. So um, I totally understand. All I'm going to do is dress up a book with a little Mod Podge. So it shouldn't take me very long. So thanks, you guys, for watching. I hope you love the project. And I will be back here in just a little bit. Oh, I hope you do the Santas, Michelle. Oh, good. Penny, you'll be back. Okay, give me a minute just to kind of pick this up a little bit. And I'll be back. Okay, bye-bye.